Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. I finally figured out in Canva how to do a custom frame. Let's dive straight into Canva and show you exactly how I've done this. those of you that are new here, my name is Darren Meredith. I'm a Canva certified creative and also a Canva creator. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a custom frame in Canva. So let's dive in and I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to do it. Okay, so you're going to come over to create design. Now it doesn't matter what size template it is you're starting off with. I'm just going to start off there with an Instagram one because that's the first one on my list and it's generally what I do. So when you come over, if you want to create a custom frame, you can either create it from elements. Now you're going to come over to elements. Let's say I want a head and I want this head. It's got to be a silhouette. So it's got to be one solid color or something where you can change the color. Obviously you can flip this round if you wanted to. And let's say I want some trees coming out the back of the head. Let's come to graphics one too many E's on the tree graphics actually I've got some that here that I've recently used I'm going to use this one okay I'm going to make these two the same color I'm going to make them both black and also this one I'm going to make sure that's black and it's the same color black now all you do is you position the element however you want it here now they've got to be the same colour and they've got to be one solid colour as well. And that's the key on these. You don't have to group them together and you can make this as big or as small as you want. So once you've set out your image, you want this to be your frame. You're going to come to download and you're going to come download as a PNG. Now I'm going to do this head tree 2. And you're going to come down to download, download it as a PNG and download this. Now I'm going to open this up um, in preview open with preview and then once you open it up with preview you'll see you've got the black outline here in on apple you'll see this show markup bar tool and you come over to here this is a ma little magic wand called instant alpha now you click and hold and drag to the right and as you drag to the right you'll see it start filling in any more detail once it goes over red like that you'll see it, that's kind of going to fill the whole lot but you want to get there just before. Now you can see it puts this dotted line in there and all you do is you hit the delete key and it looks like it's not actually done anything. However, if I upload that back to Canva now, you'll think, well, hang on a minute, it still doesn't look different. Let's do this. Let's put this and let's make this a pink background. Let's come back to our uploads. And this is the one that I've uploaded. There you go, you'll see transparent background. Just to prove this, I'm going to grab a photograph and I'm going to position this backwards and you'll see there that you've actually got an image in the background there. If I can make this a little bit bigger for you you can see you've got the image in the background and that's exactly how you can create an actual frame. And you can do this with other things like other elements as well. So let's say I'm going to create another background here. Let's say we want this laptop. Now this one, this is where, so you're not going to want the pink in the background. If you could do this with an element, you're not going to want the pink in the background. And it's ideal if you've got somewhere where it's got kind of like a, a solid shape or something like that. So let's put, call this one laptop two, because I've been trying about and playing about with this, but I want to show you that this works. And you click download, and this time you're going to click download with a transparent background and it's page three that we want. So you want that transparent background so that it doesn't download the pink as well. With the first option, you have to have the background there because otherwise if you're removing the shape in the middle and then the background's transparent, you just get a transparent image overall. So this is just so exciting. I'm so excited to share this with you. So we're downloading this transparent background, page three, click download. Now, once we click download, we're going to click show in Finder again. We're going to open this up with preview. I don't know if there's a Windows option. Let me know if there's a Windows option for this. And we're going to click markup. I'm going to click on this little magic wand again. And we're going to click in the middle here and drag to the right. And you'll see if I drag to the right, it's going to start 
filling in the keys and stuff as well and also down the bottom there but if you do it just enough it'll fill the right amount of area in there for you hit delete save the image just close it and then drag that back to canva you can see me dragging it there in the background and then again if i click on here and i come over to photographs let's say i'm going to choose the people in this image again so i want to come back to my uploads and this is the one we've just re-uploaded you can see i was trying it out earlier on here i've re-uploaded this and you can see it actually creates a frame there for you as well obviously you can move this around you can fit this you have to just change the shape in the background it's not going to snap to the area what you're doing is you're basically creating a, a hole in the image by removing that alpha area and there you go that's exactly how you can do that hope you've enjoyed it hope this helps look forward to seeing all the fun templates and all sorts of designs that you're going to create with this and until next time thank you very much bye for now you find me loser, set me free. You make me